DJ Calm Down, Calm Down TV. We got a very special guest today. OG Nappy Long Ooh. Locks. OG Nappy Long Yeah, hey, that boy. Calm Down TV. What's good? Hey, chillin', chillin', man. I see you making a lot of big moves out here. <laughs> yeah. I see you making moves too. Trying, trying, trying. Taking over since we're five. You putting it on the map. Trying to. You know? Really do this YouTube thing. We had 950,000 views or more. Ooh. We really like 960, but we'll leave that for yeah, later. We'll get there. We'll get, get there. there. <laughs> anyway, uh, tell us about how you got the name OG Nappy Long Locks. Where they come from? Uh, shit. Um, shit, I was Keezy Cock on the first Keezy Kill dance and shit. I got in the streets, Keezy Cock. I was doing my music. I got locked up. You know, I was a young nigga, but I was, had the wisdom. I had the knowledge and shit, so I was always teaching. Young niggas and older niggas in jail and shit. You know, I you know, I always spoke for us and shit. Then when I got out, I ran the trap on Harm Place. If you ever been out there with me, I right now. Whoop, OG. Yeah. But that's how I got the name. They start calling me OG and shit. Just, you know, just saying it. And I try, I got to rebrand myself. I was like, OG Nappy Long Lot, you know. Something to say, something to scream. Long Lot! Whoop, OG. Yeah. That far. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, you said uh, something about going to jail. Uh, you yeah. mind speaking on that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, um. First time going, 19. It locked me up for the rest of the year, the whole year, right before my birthday. I turned 20 in that motherfucker. Then I spent the whole 20s in that motherfucker, had, you know, a few drug charges. Petty broke bitch lying on me, talking about I had to put my hands on him, you know, regular <laughs> nigga shit, domestic violence shit, uh, some more drug charges when they called that. Mm. And then I already had probation. I was like, fuck probation. Because I ain't, I, at that time, I was like, fuck probation. They ain't finna get me locked down, just get out this bitch, you know. And then they showed me my one for the They locked me up for a whole year. And then I got back out. <laughs> they locked me up again. Mm. And, you know, it's just back and forth. Yeah. But we good now, you know. Don't you snap it. Long out now, you yeah, yeah. The movement. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, uh, how long you been rapping? Oh, shit. About five years. About five years. I was rapping. Stunners Inc. back in the day, had a, it was a click. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't the main rap. I was trying to rap and shit. Yeah. But it was really, you know, everybody, I was pushing the, the team and shit. Mm -hmm. And then I was rapping, doing my thing, you know. I was out of high school by then. And then, really, about three, four years ago, I took it serious. I like, I, I can do this. Now, uh, social media, you see, you have a, uh, a lot of followers. Uh, did the uh, support uh, catch you by surprise at all? Or how yeah, do you yeah. deal with that support? And Yeah, it was, because when I first started, you know, everybody started, started slow. You know, I start posting two likes. I'm like, they ain't trying to hear me. You know, you expect when you first drop, oh, shit. You know, I got, yeah, they yeah, gonna top at the, I, I wham. Yeah, yeah, they gonna fuck with me. They ain't fuck with it at first, but it was all about promoting and marketing myself. When I started just not paying attention to it, start promoting and marketing and shit, and pushing it, I don't know what, like, even females are like in the bang, bang one, just rap, you yeah. know? I'm rapping on there. They promoting it. Start, in the morning, I'll be on Instagram. I was learning how to use it. And they start tagging me in videos, niggas waking up to us, it's over with. I'm like, damn, they fuck with it. Then the uh-huh, that picked up, you know. I fuck with that. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. you getting money. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Everybody start fucking with that, so that was quick. My first take, my first solo take. Okay, okay. Now, um, you went from uh, with the, uh, the track uh, Big Booty Chick. And love the video, of course. I, <laughs> I love. say, big booty cheek, yeah. And okay. from that all the way to uh, now, you got this your own pretty much challenge, the uh, big bounce challenge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, um, yeah. you talk about big booties and stuff a lot. <laughs> Does uh, OG Nappy Long Locks gotta have a, a big booty cheek? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't know on the small girl, little booties. You know, little booties do matter, you know. Mm -hmm. It's about how you carry yourself. But uh, OG, I'm an OG status, you know. <laughs> I need something to handle, you know, something that can handle me. You know, so I need the big thing, you know. Whoop, big booty cheek, you know. I need all that. Big booty Brenda, big booty Tamika. They know who that is. <laughs> what they talking about. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> okay. Where were you from? Oh, uh, yeah, I already know. I was born real to Georgia, but... East Nashville, Tennessee. I've been here since I was young, you know. Inglewood, all my life, you know, all the way from Lynn Departments, all the way to Settle Court, all the way to South Fate, you know, real East Side nigga, all to the Blood Court. So that's what I'm putting on for, you know, 615. That's my side of town. Okay. Now, uh, growing up, what type of kid were you? What were you into growing up? Were you in sports or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, at first, I was slow, you know, I wasn't that good. <laughs> 
I came out there trying to get into sports football. Mm-hmm. Had to learn how to do it basketball. By the next year, I, you know, I got cold. I, I caught on to it. Yeah. Just had to get in shape. But I, was, I always danced. was so crazy. I always danced. Like, the coaches be like, why he always dance? This big ass always dance. He's supposed to be the beast. Why you dance? I'm like, nigga, you can dance. You know, the trick They be like, yeah. oh, he dance is fun. and crack. You know, he can rock. He took it down. But that's how, I, that's how I always did. I was, you know, I always had the schemes, the plans. I was with the crew making plans of, you know, get the attention in school, the jokes, you know, to make this. I always in the hallways acting the fool. They know what it is. Mm-hmm. Now, before uh, music, uh, what's something that you maybe wanted to do? Do you always want to be a rapper or did you have other dreams? Like maybe want to be a doctor or something like yeah. that? Oh, well, yeah. Uh, the first dream, I was in the comedy. Yeah. Uh, like Jim Carrey, Jam- Jam- I mean, Jim Carrey. Jamie Foxx, Martin Lawrence, you know, I was mm-hmm. under that. But I wanted to be an actor. I wanted to just do movies. I didn't want to do stand-up. Right, okay. And that's how I was doing that. The first person that got it was Michael Jackson. So let me get that straight. <laughs> Michael Jackson said so I was like my core, but I didn't think I could do it like that. Yeah. So when I got older, I know I had a musical talent. I leaned towards that more. But I wanted to be an actor, to be in movies. Then I learned, like, I want to be in movies, like drama, everything. And then after a while, you know, school get in your head. I tried to be a lawyer. I was going to be a lawyer. I went to lawyer count. You know, on the little debates and shit. You know, mm-hmm. I did all of that. Okay, okay. And I thought I was going to be a football player. <laughs> <laughs> if I was failed. I, I feel was. like everybody had a sports dream. Yeah, everybody I thought had I was going to go pro in the NBA. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got, got to my freshman year. I said, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah. uh, as far as your music goes, um, would you say that you freestyle or you more so a writer? Oh, freestyle so far. I'm but just now started writing and talking to little labels and stuff and learning. It was like talking about having proof of your writing. That's how you get another check. So you know I'm a right now. I'm trying to, learn how to write it down, but I just freestyle it. I just sit there and think, meditate, smoke. I try to before I get a blunt down. I try to have two songs done. I make songs like that. Yeah. And I, I can make a song like you put a beat on make it right now. That's how I usually do. I can freestyle. Yeah. Chords is instantly freestyle. Bars freestyle. And I can freeze up on when I want to kill it, kill it, kill it. Mm-hmm. I can write some shit down. Like I can rap fast and twist it. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, twist it. Yeah. Oh. Woo! Hold it. Damn it. I don't know Fuck it, we right. Now, as far as also with music, uh, who was uh, maybe some of your music inspiration growing up? Oh, who? yo. Michael Jackson. And then Mystical. Grew on to my uncle used to play a lot of cash money mm-hmm. and no limit. So okay. mystical, juvenile, they they got on me quick. And Master P, I fuck with Master P. Mm-hmm. And then everybody in no limit mostly. Then I got an outcast real tough. Then I got in the ludicrous. I thought he was the best nigga alive. I was like, man, who is this? It's from <laughs> Elfro, the Eminem. I was like, how the hell is he doing that? Right. And then I was like, really, MC Hammer. I went back in time. Was on that real tough. Rick James, James Brown, Lil Richard. You know, all that. Even yeah. fucking, uh, what was that dude's name? Uh, Jerry Lee Lewis. I watched that movie, Great Balls of Fire. I had to look mm-hmm. him up. I like. I just like performing, you know, taking entertainment to another level. Okay, okay. Now, do you got a top five uh, artist of all time? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's getting hard now. Let me see. Uh, <laughs> I got to go. That may be not in order. They ain't got to be in a specific order. Okay. Just, Top five. Tupac and Biggie, because those are the openers. Okay. That's what started it. And then it's Busta Rhymes and Mystical and Ludacris. But then, damn. I left Eminem out. He's like the best rapper alive. Right? <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? It's different things for different, like me. If I want to talk about lyrics, Eminem, Ludacris, Biggie Smalls, Jay-Z, Lil Wayne. Lyrics. All around, Tupac, Biggie Smalls, Mystical, Busta Rhymes, Ludacris, they had it. They had the whole package. Boy okay. had Pepsi commercials, Mystical, Shake It Fat. Boy, <laughs> boy, boy, that boy got us up there. I know yeah. that. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, you uh, mentioned Lil Wayne. Uh, Lil Wayne recently ain't been dropping much, and I feel like, of course, because it's a uh, cash money label situation. Do you think that Lil Wayne can overcome that situation and still drop a good Carter 5 album? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, he, he a legend. I'm telling you, he do this shit like, like, like how you breathe. Right now, really, he needs to take a break because 
after a while, people start hating because they were just naturally tired of hearing him. Yeah, people saturated. started critiquing about what he was doing mm-hmm. and he changed, but really he changed so much. He helped the game out, but he, he can come back and take it. That's how cold he is. Yeah. Just like Eminem, he can come back and take it, just like Jay-Z just did. You got to remember, like, Jay-Z, was, he been that nigga with Lil Wayne, like, in rapping-wise in this world. And what you see now, him and Gucci, they, they the pioneers of that. True. Guwap. Yeah. That's one of my favorite Wap. artists. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, speaking of Wap, uh, Burr. Uh, you got the ice cold uh, joint, and it's yeah. it's all over the place. You can't miss it if you wanted to. Yeah. Uh, tell me about the ice cold joint. Ice cold, 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 polar bear. I had to get a studio one time. I know I've been dropping them bars lately. You know all that original them that I had to just up on top of the head. I got the hit with all that rapping and shit. I had to take it to a metal style. You know, get the flavor going, showing people because people start taking the flavor. They was running off with the sauce. Good burger. <laughs> you know, man, so I had to start teaching them. I was like, let me show them how this flavor. So I got in there. No, nothing. I told Trap Burns play the beat. Went in there straight with the first thing I thought of. I wasn't even thinking about no Coca Cola endorsement or nothing. I was just recording Ice Cold. Mm-hmm. That's what I felt. And once I started getting the beat, I'm like, damn, that's, that's a Coca Cola commercial right there. Like, yeah. <laughs> I didn't really fuck with that, but really, I was, you know, trying to make a clean version of trap music, kind of. So yeah. pay attention. It's real trap shit. Okay. Okay, now uh, what can what? There's a video to that. Yeah. Where can they, where can we get that video? Where can we see that? Uh, so I was on YouTube, shot by C Roy. Yeah, right now he taking off. Yeah, right now since we be taking off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, the models in there: Sean Jail, Brenda, Yori Ono, uh, Miss Maya. You know, we in that motherfucker lit. You know, the motherfucker at uh, the Music City Lounge. But well, you can check that out on YouTube. Type in OG Nappy Long Locks, Ice Cold. Look it up. Google it. Spotify, Apple Music, all that, man. Where can we follow you at as far as social media? OG Nappy, underscore Lone Locks for Instagram, Snapchat, OG So Nappy, Twitter, OG Nappy, underscore Lone Lock, Facebook, you know, OG Nappy Lone Locks, everything. Just Google it. Just when you see it, follow it, you know, because we going up there. Like, give me six more months. You know how I elevate. I'm going to demonstrate. And I'm going to penetrate. That part. <laughs> now, TSU homecoming, uh, real big deal as far as Nashville goes. Yeah. Uh, got a lot of people coming down, big artists such as Cardi B, NBA Young Boy, oh, Two yeah. Chains. Uh, speaking of Cardi B, I seen you did a Bodak Yellow freestyle. Uh, yeah, I had to go in on it real quick. Nah, Cardi, I fuck with her. Number one out of this bitch. Woo! Hey! Cardi? Woo! Yeah. Uh, yeah, to do it though. Is that a, uh, is that just something you did on uh, social media? Or is that something we can go and yeah. listen to? I put it on YouTube not too long ago, but it's yeah. on my Instagram, Facebook. I had a, I mean, uh, when I first heard it, I already knew it was a hit. It yeah. won't even hit the charts. It didn't even hit the charts or nothing. I was already on Cardi B. I was a fan of it. Yeah. So I instantly got on there. You already know, dumb bitch. Yeah, it's OG. Yeah, you know it's me. Step up on the scene. Yeah, them bad bitches know it's me. Napping long locks, east side. Cash from Tennessee. They couldn't fuck with me if they was in a full blown orgy. Hey, damn. They couldn't damn. fuck with me if they was in a full blown orgy. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, now, alright. Uh... You talk about dancing and stuff. Uh, yeah. Explain, what is it, the OG uh, Shuffle? Yeah, OG Nappy. Hustle Shuffle. Yeah, OG Nappy. I'm going to switch it to the OG Pop, though, because I got a lot of dance. It's a whole rhythm I noticed, you know. I know this ain't just the Hustle Shuffle. It's, the, it's everybody, you know, from the bike. Everybody, <laughs> been, you know, I don't know. I already know I'm doing this in 2015. I have to talk to you like that. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh, you already know. So it's an OG Pop, you know. Now, uh, Nashville uh, hasn't had, I couldn't say a big rap talent come out in a long time, really, yeah. such as Young Buck or Lido or somebody like that. We got people with big waves, of course. Yeah. Now, other than yourself, uh, could you say uh, or tell us maybe three artists coming out of Nashville we should maybe look out for? All right, I got to look out for. It's a lot. It is. I know off the top. Off the top, young. My boys, hard looking Charlie, Lil Bree, Six One Five, Six One Six One Five exclusive. Yeah, I already know you gotta look out for them. Uh, and then Sean Gotti ain't going. Yeah. He gonna get the uh, shots out the cool BMG thing. Yeah, I already know the whole BMG. Uh, Ari, Ari B, you gotta watch out for her. But you said three, I'm gonna name for twenty. Are you perfect? Yeah. <laughs>
We good. Yeah. Now, uh, I see on on social media uh, the loud and clear tape. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I actually seen you with Rico Reckless too. Where you meet Rico Reckless at? Uh, yeah, he was uh, he was in, he was in Atlanta. He was ugly as hell. You know. <laughs> <laughs> He was there for you. Y'all already know fool. Y'all already know fool. Hey, fool. Yeah, fuck me, fool. I was like, damn, who is that? Y'all know my brother ran up on it real quick with the mixtape. Mm -hmm. He didn't even know who he was. You yeah. know, he wasn't up on it. But he knew once he started talking to him. Because what's so funny, I was already, bro, I, I fuck with Rico Reckless. Mm -hmm. It was just that. Where he was dissing the whole yeah, fucking time. Yeah, dissing the whole time. I ain't gonna rap about that because I get into it real quick. Rico was going hard. Yeah. But yeah, he was fucking with the tape and fucking with the movement, you know. Mm -hmm. Real nigga fuck with real nigga, I already know. Yeah. Putting on Chicago. I try to make it look good, you know, everywhere we go, make the city look good. Yeah. I don't know, 615 on this bitch. That's too. Calm down TV, man. It's your homeboy Sean Gutter. Uncle Mike and his bitch, man. We would calm down TV. Calm down before we shut that shit down. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Y'all fucking with Calm Down TV. Wow! Calm Down TV, man. Hit something still to good, nigga. OSL Spider, DJ Spider, whatever you want to call it. Shout out to Calm Down TV, man. That man put in a whole lot of work to get us right here, right now, man.